The next thing we're going to show you is the capability when running an AES signal to have an analog backup. In this case, we have a CD player that is putting out AES and analog at the same time. Right now, this particular amplifier is set up through the KSOP network. But regardless, if it's a digital signal coming in, whether it's AES on channel 2 uh, related to this, or it's a digital signal coming over the KSOP network, we will have this option on the input routing select. Mute if no AES signal or analog from channel 1 if no AES signal. So we need to select this as the analog backup to the digital signal. Down here we can actually trim the AES 3 signal to match the analog signal. And in this case we have it about minus 6. It's not exact and measured but you can actually. So we will do this. When we disconnect the cable, if we're looking on the overview screen, we will see this alarm set off telling you that it is no longer in AES. So with that, we'll turn the music on. are now back on AES as you can see the alarm we replugged in the cable.